I'm Leslie Fraser and I take photos of the common ride. And how long have you been doing this, Leslie? 25 years ago I started. And how did you get involved in this? It was a hobby to start with. Um, I took up photography when I was at uni studying architecture and I used it to get photos of horses for painting. And then uh, 25 years ago my dad's cousin was called its last, so I started taking photos then and it just went on from there. So we're heading up to Willie Strother. They're Willis quite Strother. tight to get between. Uh, not bad. It takes the horses about half an hour to get up there. So um, as long as you don't get stuck behind something that just ditters along, then you're all right. But um, I like to get up the hill a bit when we get there, so it's just to give some walking time as well. I've always liked the common riding because um, I, I liked horses and I grew up with horses, and then. Um, when I was at school, I used to do, I used to paint horses and I used to raise my pocket money to do um, portraits. And then I went to uni to study architecture. And uh, for that, I developed the interest in photography because uh, it helped with uni and it helped with the, the drawing. And obviously it just came together with the common riding. So um, in 93, uh, Dad's cousin Liz was Cornet's last, so we did a, did a wee album for them when they were on it and last and then the following year mum and dad were after mother and father so they got a, an album and then it just kind of went on for there each corner asked us to make an album it would be great having a hobby that you can do as a job well that's it yeah sometimes you get a bit fed up with it because like oh, no another lot of folks to edit but that's just the way it is but it's great because the jobs now meant that i can go on and do i get to do other things so i've got into like little bits of other work i did a lot of work with the distillery when it was opening and thing in the white paper I'm going to pick only for a Tuesday, that'll be hard. So your physical fitness have to be quite good for this? When I started, no it wasn't. It, it helps if you're a bit fitter, because if you've run somewhere and then try and take a photo, it helps if you've not knocked it, you can't even the cover up. This is pre stuff. This is a picnic field in there. Twenty two megabytes that the, the file sizes. Each photograph. Each photograph. So how many have you taken so far at this um, point in the ride? About it? 550 on the way here. So probably take about the same again if no mere gone home. The old refrain shout till you're again and again. What happened the last two hours, Leslie? Um, picnic and a sing song. Um, so that's all I did, just a couple of photos at the sink, so there wasn't a lot of picnickers to do, so it wasn't worth getting some picnic photos. Is it getting a bit colder now? It is, I can't feel my fingers. <laughs> They've now gone blue. And where are we off to next? Um, we'll go up to Stubby Cut to see them away, and then back round to where they cross the, the barn, and then back to Wally Strother again, and then back at the town. So. Cheers. 
So you're not just a photographer, Leslie? Not just a bit of everything, just whatever you get chucked at you, just take. So you had a bit of log removing, a bit of coke yes. carrying? It's maybe worth having a look in the pockets today. No, it's CJ's, there'll be nothing in them. <laughs> At the tower now, waiting on the cornet coming in. And how has it been so far? It's been alright, dude. We've not got too wet and it's been cold, but I'll have a few photos, different different photos this time, just because the timing was different, so we wanted to get a bit more places. Photo wise, we just have to download them with the computer and then edit them for the paper the morning. That's what happens next. That's what happens next, so it'll be maybe 2 o'clock this morning before I get finished and then back up again at 6 to start again. You can see them on the website at ilfimaging.com or they can come into the shop or there'll be some in the paper as well. This has been a day in the life of a photographer at Hoyt Common right now. Thank you for watching.